Verses 76 and 77. Uh, Sanjay, we last three verses actually the last from verse number 75 to 78, not even that from 74 to 78. These five verses are dedicated to Sanjay. In the beginning, it was one verse was to Dhritarashtra. Dharmakshetra, Kurukshetra, the first verse. And when he asked the question, Sanjay replied, Are, kya baad hai? Kya baad hai? Come. So, then Sanjay started narrating and then the entire narration was a dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna. And again now, the last five verses are for Sanjay and here he is remembering, he is horripulating, he is, he is excited and he goes into ecstasy thinking about what he ha what has just been witnessed by him with, uh, and for that his gratitude and gratefulness towards uh, what, what he said was uh, Vyasa Prasada Shrutavan Etad Guhyamaham Param Yoga Yogeshwar Atkrishna Sakshat Kathayata Swayam So he expresses his gratitude towards Vyas because of, without whom he wouldn't have got this opportunity to see the, uh, the dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna and what is that he witnessed Etad Guhyam Aham Param and he witnessed the Sikh greatest secrets secret that there is from whom from the lord himself who is this lord who is himself the yo all the yogis his their boss the yoga <laughs> meaning all the yogis whom they are meditating upon he is that one he has come directly to the earth and has given him the uh, the darshan because till now Sanjay also didn't know that Krishna is uh, Narayana himself, mean the Lord himself. He did not know. Now he is recognizing after this dialogue. Because in the uh, in the 11th chapter and 12th chapter, Bhagavan said, uh, or in the 15th chapter, he said, I am the Purushottama. Hmm? So when suddenly if someone, some Mahatma comes in front of you and you are looking only at the body and he comes and says, the saint says, I am all that there is. You know, we went, I have mentioned this example. He is no longer, he took Samadhi uh, a few years ago. Uh, his name was Darga Swami. And this Darga Swami was in Kadapa district, I told you. And he was, first time when, he, when we met him, on his one wall is a photograph of all the saints and sages of India, past and present. And he says, all of them are doing what I tell them to do. All of them did what I told them to do. And as he was telling, first, he this is the penultimate statement. Before that, he said, oh, Sai Baba, I told Sai Baba to build Prashanti Nilayam. Oh, Shridi Sai Baba. I told him to take birth in, uh, come to Shirdi and take care of the people there. Then Vivekananda, I only sent him to Ramakrishna. Ramakrishna, are, without me, he could not have done, come to know anything. I only sent Totapuri to him. <laughs> and this way he was going on and on and on about 
one by one all the mahatmas and then he says too much time it will take no then the tea time it was so he said i all of them are doing whatever i tell them to do without my will they cannot do anything and then suddenly he roared not one particle in this creation can move without my permission and he stopped <laughs> who can say that just thinking about that interaction with him is keep putting all my i'm getting horribulations see that's exactly what is he is witnessing it right in front of his eyes just like we witnessed that dargao swami in front of our eyes see yeah yogam yogeshwara he is the yogi of all the yogis and krishna sakshat kathayata swayam and that lord that yogeshwar krishna that yogeshwar narayana himself has taken incarnation he has in himself manifested in the human form and given this geeta for the benefit of arjuna there but for through arjuna to for the benefit of the mankind because anyone who listens to this geeta till today i have not come across anyone who has gone through geeta and has not transformed to for the better <coughs> you can transform both ways positive or negative he <laughs> positive ha <laughs> huh? and then he say now he again remembers because it's not enough to show the gratitude he says rajan sanskrutya sanskrutya sambad ima संवाद इमुत केशवाजुन यो पुण्यम हृष्या च मुहुर्मु एंड हियर इन दी सेवेंटी सिक्स वर्ष ही सैड दैट राजन संस्मृत संस्मृत एज ए अगेन एंड अगेन रिकॉल संस्मृत इज रिमेम्बरिंग रिकॉलिंग रेमिनेसिंग अगेन एंड अगेन एंड हू ही इज टेलिंग टू द ब्लाइंड किंग and the blind king is as dull as it can be he is drowning in tamas and that tamas tamas inertia that inertia remember inertia expresses as what laziness 1 2 laziness yeah laziness yeah three things <coughs> tamas expresses as Okay, what is the Hindi, Sanskrit word for it? Alasya nidra pramad. Ah? Alasya nidra pramad. Alasya nidra pramad. So nidra nidra alasya pramad or alasya nidra pramad, whichever way you take it. So one is laziness, very good. Second is pramad, inadvertence, repeating the same mistake. See, repeating the same mistake again and again. And the third is. Uh, uh, yeah, so lazy so disinterested in life that only want to sleep any word starts snoring <laughs> not there is no umph in anything except sleep oh want to go to sleep ha ah, i am ready <laughs> anything else no <laughs> meaning give them responsibility give them any project tell them to do this or tell them to do that oh, i am not interested and and go to sleep so alasya nidra pramad this blind king is he may not be sleeping but he is he is he is blind nidra nidra is he is sleeping to the reality of the world who dhritarashtra the blind king he didn't want to say see by his own eyes what he has created what mess he has created <laughs> pramad mistake repeating the mistake again and again and all this mess is created by his repeated attachment to his sons and how many times his prime minister his uh, uh, his soothsayers his the grandfather and other rishis have told him you are going the wrong way and he will not listen this is praman so uh, 
सो केशव अर्जुन यो पुण्यम हृष्यामी च मुहुर्मुहु एंड ही ही इज टेलिंग द किंग हाउ ग्रेटफुल ही इज हाउ ब्लेस्ड ही इज हाउ बिकॉज ही हैज जस्ट विटनेस्ड आई एम रिमेम्बरिंग एंड द द डायलॉग बिटवीन केशव एंड अर्जुन विच इज अ वेरी प्योर डायलॉग एंड इट इज लीडिंग टू प्योरिटी ऑफ माय हार्ट एंड सोल एंड द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट इज मुहुर मुहु एक्सटैटिक लीडिंग टू एक्सटसी अगेन एंड अगेन एंड नाउ वी आर एट द सेवेंटी सेवेंथ वर्स तच्च संस्मृत संस्मृत रूपमत्यद्भुत हरे तच्च संस्मृत संस्मृत रूपमत्यद्भुत हरे विस्म मे महान राजन विस्म मे महान राजन हृष्यामी च पुनः पुनः हृष्यामी च पुनः पुनः in the 77th verse he is saying that as i recall to mind from uh, time to time that most marvelous form of shri hari see you. as long as we are in the world god is there <laughs> once you are merged into the god then there is no difference between you and god then there is no oh, you will not continue to because you have merged into the once the wave has recognized that it is the ocean it cannot come back to be the wave wave will continue to express for whatever period its life is but the consciousness within this individual because body is not a, a body cannot have life by itself there is life within there is consciousness which is making this body alive if consciousness which is present in this body and interacting in this world chooses to withdraw from the world withdraw from the body withdraw from the mind and intellect and seek what is this consciousness and realizes that it is the infinite one then who will come back once you have realized that you are the infinite then who will come back then how come the body of the great saints and sages is there because of the destiny destiny is not for the consciousness destiny is for the body destiny is for the mind and as long as consciousness is stuck in the memory of the past till then that consciousness has feels that it has a destiny and that destiny is birth after birth after birth and according to whatever the karmas or samskaras the impressions it has created it keeps accruing that but if the consciousness has delinked itself from the memories meaning by purification by focusing instead it has created a new memory that i am one with the lord i am one i am the atma i am the infinite one and this is the memory it is cultivating and 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 the individual lo- gets lost in that contemplation a point will come with repeated uh, uh, attempts somewhere one day it will click and once it clicks there's no coming back then what will happen to my job someone else will get it <laughs> <laughs> then what will happen to my patients they'll go to some other doctor <laughs> only we only think that my god what will happen they have been coming to me for last 20 30 years it is my responsibility your responsibility is to realize that you are the infinite consciousness <laughs> it is not to realize that what will happen to the patients <laughs> see once this clicks i tell you it is by grace only it will click it will not click by our efforts but our efforts must be there but when it happens it happens by his grace ved vyas ji came into sanjay's life by his own grace sanjay did not call him <laughs> he was at the right place at the right time why because sanjay did his job without expecting any results what was his job to give to be there for his boss who is the blind king and give him correct guidance 
if it requires so that he can negotiate through not only on the battlefield but also through life if he asks the question just like arjuna chose the charioteer the lord krishna to be his charioteer why he trusts his judgment more and it is krishna's job to every now and then to guide arjuna to do the right thing and therefore he won therefore sanjay also as a charioteer charioteer sits in front of the owner of the chariot the first arrows come to the charioteer not to the owner of the chariot see he is there to protect but the blind king was not available to this knowledge even after sanjay is communicating to him he does not want to know so what is what what can he tell this blind king now he is so lost in the ecstasy of the experience that he has just had that he is not able to stop himself from blurting it out again and again and therefore he is saying tatcha sanskrutya sanskrutya uh, rupam adbhutam harehe the form of the lord is absolutely divine it's inexplicable vismayo hi mahan rajan rishyami cha puna puna and he says that uh, uh, the o king i go into raptures again and again ha huh? puna rishyami cha puna puna ha rishyami i go into ecstasy again and again puna puna means again and again and in this way gnaneshwar maharaj says here that we will just we did two verses last week but we'll do it again मग उठो नी मणे नृपा श्रीहरी चिया विश्व रूपा देखी लया उगा का पा असोला हसी न देखने नी जे दिसे नाही पणे ची जे असे विसरे आठवे ते कैसे चुकवू आता देखो नी चमत्कारू की जे तो नाही पैसारू मज ही सकट महापुरू ने त आहे ऐसा श्री कृष्णार्जुन संवाद संगमी स्नान करूनी देत से तिळदान अहम ते चे सम दिस ओल्ड मराठी लिटल बिट आय कॅन अंडरस्टँड दॅट्स वाय एम स्मायलिंग सो हाऊ ही इज एक्सप्रेसिंग हिज इमोशन्स ही सेज हिअर दॅट देन ही स्टूड अप अँड सेट टू द किंग वॉट डिड ही से मग उठो नी म्हणे नृपा ही गॉट अप गॉट अप अँड स्पोक टू नृपय मीन्स द किंग देन श्री हरी चिया विश्वरूपा ही सेज ओ ओ किंग हाऊ डिड यू रिमेन unmoved even after seeing the unifer universal form of lord shri hari because he explained it so expansively even during the virat roop darshan in the 11th chapter the universal form he explained he said how can you remain so cold how can you be can you remain so unresponsive are you a wood, dead wood or what he is not saying those words but Mm. how can you miss that which is seen without being perceptible which looks like non existent but is existence which enters into your memory even though you forget it these are all pointers for us even though we forget we are the consciousness it is ever there <laughs> even though you forget it enters into your memory you cannot forget yourself nobody can forget themselves and what do you forget what do you not forget what do you not forget that i am the same through all this ah that i am the continuous one you can never forget that i am the continuous one see kitni sundar baat hai ek line mein bata diya ki i am the continu that how can you forget you are the continuous one how can you not be affected by the form of uh, lord uh, the bhagwan that i just narrated then he says uh, how can you miss that which is seen without being perceptible we don't need to know this 
divine uh, uh, lord you don't need senses you don't need mind <laughs> to know it it is within your heart he is throbbing as the life within you so in other words oh the oh king you may be blind but nobody has stopped you not to experience this uh, this divine reality which is inherent which is the essence of everyone which is see, uh, which looks like non existent but is existence it has got no form it has got no color it has got no qualities it has got no attributes you cannot touch it you cannot feel it you cannot taste it you cannot smell it you cannot comprehend it you cannot think it you cannot memorize it you cannot contemplate on it you cannot contemplate on it also achintyam ha achintyam you cannot contemplate on yet it is and what is that that which is throbbing within you because this king is blind so he is telling him it is within you how can you miss it but some people are stubborn nahi nahi manna hai which enters into your memory even though you forget it we may not again and again tell ourselves that i am the man i am the man i am man i am man i am not woman i am man you don't say it every day but sometimes you say it isn't it somewhere in some dialogue some discussion suddenly it will come if someone gives you hey come on wear a sari <laughs> wear a frock no 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 i am a man suddenly it will come but you have never used that statement ever in your life till that frock was presented to you <laughs> same way same way it is intrinsic within each one of us that we are that divine that divine alone is expressing through us continuing he says there is no scope left to be amazed about it it is such a great flood of ecstatic joy which is carrying me away see there is no scope left to be amazed about it you know my mind cannot when there is no scope left when all the doors to escape from this experience are taken away or 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 uh, what do you call or if they are open then you can run away they are all closed why they are closed why the doors of the mind and intellect are closed because intellect cannot conceptualize it so it has closed all its door mind cannot feel it so it has closed all its door senses cannot perceive it so they have closed their doors <laughs> oh yet i am <laughs> dekho maza <laughs> see <laughs> so he says there is no scope left even to be amazed about it because amazement will be for the mind wondrousness will be for the mind but mind just doesn't know what to do what not to do because it cannot comprehend it ashcharyavat paschati paschati yena it is such a great flood of ecstatic joy which is carrying me away Hmm. you do a little bit of like chanting the name of the lord or chanting the om you do it for few months few weeks and as the energy starts building up within you and you see like you know when people fall in love what happens you forget yourself day morning from the morning that moment eyes open before they open the thought of the beloved is there in the mind then you forget your breakfast you forget your job you forget continue, first thing is call then afterwards goes on you have to go to work poor fellow has to go we have to go 
we are talking about our experience. <laughs> I don't know if you have fallen in love. I have. I had. I am still. <laughs> so when you are continuously, inadvertently helpless, you are helpless. But only thinking about your beloved. Only thinking about your beloved. It grabs the imagination of your mind. In that you are, oh, you have to go, you know, wake up or you have to go to sleep or you have to eat food or you have to whatever your daily, you have to go to the gym or you have to do the exercises or you have to, uh, yeah, uh, there are some, uh, uh, your regular calls to your family. The, everything is forgotten. Only one thing, the love for the beloved is dictating all your actions. And this is the principle. When hunger comes, the hunger dictates all our actions. When the bladder pressure comes, it dictates all our actions. When love happens for another person, it dictates, it dictates all our actions. When fear happens, that fear dictates all our actions. Choose what you, what you want to be possessed about. <laughs> You want the fear to possess you, you want a person to possess you, or you want the God to possess you. Then, if God possesses you, where your mind is helplessly thinking about Him, then He will express through you. Simple. See? <clears throat> There is, huh, so, it is such a great flood of ecstatic joy which is carrying me away. This joy, you know how it is, this joy? This joy is very, you, you experience. This joy is the, the bliss of forgetting the world and allowing yourself to be carried deep into the sleep. When you are sometimes, sometimes I find myself going into power nap. The TV is going on, mum is watching and I am sitting here and suddenly the eyes, because I am not interested in that TV <laughs> and I can't run away from there because uh, she, a little bit time I have to spend with her. <laughs> I sit there and suddenly my eyes will close. My japa is going on, so my eyes will close. And as they close, suddenly the body becomes still and uh, the inner pull comes. The joy of that pull the joy of that pull of sleep or when you wake up in the morning, you know you are awake but you allow yourself to be again pulled back into the sleep. Huh? That is that joy. Imagine if that type of joy happens consciously. You are aware that the mind is collapsing and you are awake and not afraid of it. That's ecstasy. So, mind thinking about the form of the Lord, here, here we are, here he is thinking about Krishna. So, he is thinking about that Krishna Arjuna Sambhad uh, dialogue and he is lost. His mind is being pulled into that dialogue again and again, again, puna puna. And every time it gets pulled, he feels another wave of ecstasy. He remembers something, some part of the dialogue, another wave of ecstasy. Sita Prajna Lakshana, another wave of ecstasy. Gunatita Yoga, another wave of ecstasy. Just few verses before, he said, I love you so much, I want to give something. I want to give you more, Arjuna. Another wave of ecstasy. <laughs> Rishyati puna punaha. We also go to our children or grandchildren or we want the same dish again and again. Rishyati puna puna. But that joy is not comparable to the joy of the listening live to the Lord. <laughs> See? Continuing in the 16th. 20, 21st. 
ते थ असंबरे आनंदे अलौकिक ही का ही स्फुदे स्फुंदे श्री कृष्ण मणे सद सद्गदे वेळो वेळा या अवस्थाची काही कौरवांते परी नाही म्हणवणी राय ते काही कल्पावे जव तव झाला सुखलाभू आपण या करुणी स्वयंभू बुझावेला अवस्तंभू संजये तेणे तेथ कोणी एकी अवसरी होवी ते करुणी दुरी राबो म्हणे संजया परी कैसी तुझी गा तेणे तू ते येथे व्यासे बैसविले का सया उद्देशे अप्रसंगा माझी ऐसे बोलसी काई विसेज बट किंग धृतराष्ट्र वॉज टोटली अनअवेअर ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ संजया and was making different plans in his mind <laughs> now he is planning are yaar remember the context dhritarashtra when ved vyas ji gave this divine vision to sanjay dhritarashtra did not ask him to tell what is going on he waited for 10 days and why he waited for 10 days because on the 10th day bhishma charya fell down who had a boon to give up his life when he wants so based upon bhishmacharya's boon dhritarashtra was thinking there is no way we can be defeated and bhishmacharya is a formidable warrior and yet after te- on the 10th day bhishmacharya is lying on the ground and therefore he asks sanjay धर्मक्षेत्रे कुरुक्षेत्रे समवेता युत्सवा माम का पांडवाश्च किम कुरुवत किम कुरुवत देन हिज क्वेश्चन केम ऑन द टेन्थ डे नाव टेन्थ डे संजय हैज री कै री कलेक्ट री कलेक्ट क्या बोलेंगे वर्ड रिकैप्ट द होल टेन डेज वॉट एज Oh, well actually the first day he is telling the first day what happened and he has recounted that whole thing and now vitrashtra where should be where could be his mind his mind is not on krishna he has already come to a decision that krishna is the trouble maker <coughs> like his wife also that's why she cursed him afterwards he is making plans who should be the next uh who will duryodhana make the next uh, commander in chief who will be the most appropriate one what what strategy can be employed uh, which can be communicated to duryodhana by him so that the war again turns in their favor uh, till now it was in their favor but now the, the number of soldiers dead on the pandava side are many more but they have a major casualty now which is bhishmacharya now how can we atone for it how can we continue the onslaught which bhishmacharya was continuing for 10 days how can we continue it after maybe all these were the plans that might be uh, overpowering the blind king's mind and therefore the king dhritarashtra was totally na- unaware of this state of sanjay and was making different plans in his mind how could a blind king see he is not surdas ha huh? surdar ji was blind but he could see the divine leela and he used to paint write poems bhajans he is not one of those he is not even able to suss out the ecstasy of sanjay through his words he is very smart but dhritarashtra is very smart he is very intuitive he is very very intelligent but right now his attachment to his sons and his attachment to the victory or in the war has overpowered his ability to intuit things and think clearly then sanjay absorbed within himself the ecstatic joy which he was experiencing and pacified his satvik feelings now if the he 
communicated his feelings to the king and the king is unresponsive he is not even understanding what is going on so collect sometimes when we are having the discourse that the tears well up and then we not the, that you we want you to cry but we drink we control ourselves and continue with the discourse or the, the, the satsang will stop <laughs> so sanjay also did the same thing he controlled his emotions these these emotions of ecstasy and satvik uh, of horripulations etc of enjoying the vision of the lord it is only possible when your mind is pure when your mind is activated it cannot come meaning activated means when your mind is dynamic when your mind is dynamic when there is a desire if the desire is for the lord then it is purified that same dynamic mind becomes calm cool collected and ready to surrender but when that mind is a uh, dynamic it is not calm cool collected why does it get dynamic it becomes dynamic because it desires something from the world that's why it gets dynamic and when it doesn't get what it wants get wants in the world then anger <laughs> if it gets what it get, wants in the world then greed greed cannot be satisfied again anger see and anger leads to oh, de- deluded mind deluded mind is that leads to oh, there is no sense of right and wrong loss of memory <laughs> and that once you don't know what is right and wrong that's the bottom you have hit the rock bottom that person is whether he accepts or he doesn't accept he is in depression because very difficult for him to accept also because he doesn't know what is right and wrong that was the situation of arjuna in the beginning see so uh, uh, then sanjay absorbed within himself the ecstatic joy Huh? which he was experiencing and pacified his satvik feelings instead of asking questions suitable for the occasion king dhritarashtra said to sanjay <laughs> he is asking he is on a different tangent <laughs> who the blind king he is not in the moment of that ex- of that ecstatic joy which is being expressed through the words from the mouth of sanjay he is not uh, worried his mind is already occupied somewhere this is called thought fixation he is thought fixated on duryodhana and his brothers he is thought fixated on the victory in the war and all this is all propelled by a higher thought fixation what could that be that he wants to remain the king ah he wants his mind is fixated on the throne he wants to be the continuous continuously wants to be the king if his sons win he will be the king but if they don't win still the other boys who are fight, they are fighting with they are also mine only i'll and i know yudhishthira will say uncle you continue to be the king again i'll be the king but it's better that if my children are there the the attachment to being the ruler is so much that he is ready to sacrifice his sons even though he knows krishna is on their side but he doesn't know krishna is divine he does he he has heard the stories how many demons krishna has killed that he is a master player in in diplomacy but still he feels you know such people feel the if we have the numbers we are powerful arjuna didn't have numbers but he had krishna see so what do we have do we have lot of possessions lot of properties lot of investments lot of health lot of memories of life all this will lead to zero it is not enough if you don't have a lot of uh, att- attachment to the divine then all these have got no meaning so here he says that 
king dhritarashtra said to sanjay oh sanjay there are your manners now you reprimanding him <laughs> राजा के सामने एक्स्ट्रा सी दिखाता है हंसता है एंजॉय करता है रोता है ही ओ संजय वेयर आर योर मैनर्स विथ वॉट ऑब्जेक्ट डिड वी आर स्पोज टू यर वॉट वॉज द ऑब्जेक्ट यू रिमेंबर आर फॉर गॉटन दैट ग्रेट सेंट वाई डिड ही गिव यू द डिवाइन विजन वॉट वॉज द पर्पज to narrate the happenings on the battlefield and what is sanjay doing going into ecstasy <laughs> come back to base tell me what is going on <laughs> in that sense so he says ha uh, king dhritarashtra said to sanjay oh sanjay where are your manners with what object did vyasa post vyasa post you here what kind of irrelevant talk are you indulging in if you place a rustic in a rustic person in a place he feels lost there just as with the daybreak a thief feels uh, it, it as a night time huh? this is the feeling of dhritarashtra in the presence of that mahatma sanjay who is in ecstasy who is vibrating with energy who is vibrating with divinity which he has just experienced and as a result his mind has also become divine and is communicating and the king is so gross that gross meaning so tamasic or so gross so inert thinking that he is not able to catch the subtle nuances the subtle joy which even if you don't have eyes you should be able to feel it hmm? he he was unavailable for that instead i am the king you are the charioteer hmm? just as the thief feels safe when it is dark that is his period of operation and when the daylight comes he wants to go to sleep <laughs> same thing with dhritarashtra he can continues continuously wants to remain blind and that blindness of his he uses it as, as self pity for himself you read mahabharata you will see that continuing राणी चे राणी चे राऊळा ने लिया दाही दिशा मानी सुनिया का रात्री होय पाहलया निशाचरा जो जे थीचे गौरव नेणे तया सीते भिंगुणवाणे भिंगुळवाणे म्हणवनी अप्रसंगू तेणे म्हणावा की तो मग म्हणे सांगे प्रस्तुत उदय लेसे जे उत कळित ते कोणासी वारे जैत देईल शेखी येवी विशेषे बहुतेक आमुचे ऐसे मानसिक जे दुर्योधनाचे अधिक प्रताप सदा आणि येरांचे नी पाडे दहळी यांचे देहवडे म्हणवनी जैत फुडे आणील आणील ना ते आम्हा तवन गमे ऐसे मा तुझे ज्योतिष कैसे ते नेणो संजया असे तैसे सांग पा सेंग दॅट सो इट इज हॅज इफ इट इज नाईट टाईम फॉर द थीफ सो वन कुड नॉट एप्रिशिएट द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ समथिंग ही नॅचरली he naturally felt to be wrong it was therefore natural that what sanjay was saying seemed improper to dhritarashtra see if i am talk just think if i am talking uh, we are doing in the satsang and suddenly i go quiet in satsang if you are not in tune with what the satsang is about the topic is in the satsang always the self 
एंड आई बिल्ड इट अप बिल्ड इट अप एंड सडनली इट टेक्स मी ओवर एंड यू आर यू बिकम साइलेंट एंड यू आर ओनली वेटिंग वॉट्स द नेक्स्ट वर्ड गोइंग टू बी वाई इज ई नॉट स्पीकिंग वाई हैज ई बिकम साइलेंट हैज ई फॉरगॉटन हैज समथिंग हैपन Why these type of thoughts in your mind? Because you are not in tune with the teacher, understand? Or with the Bhagavad Gita, both. That's exactly the situation of Dhritarashtra. <laughs> if you are in tune, if the if the teacher goes quiet, you are also in that conscious silence. You are also there is no unwanted. chatter going on in your mind what of all the options that i just gave you you are absolutely comfortable enjoying the silence not only of the teacher but also of your mind because your mind was totally focused on the words of the scripture through the teacher and now teacher is not speaking your mind is not listening you are also quiet teacher is also quiet or the other way round teacher is quiet you are quiet but you are awake teacher is awake you are awake teacher is conscious you are conscious those are rare moments those are rare moments but if at that time swami ji bhul gaye have you forgotten to uh, we, we were on this verse we are on this particular ovi have you forgotten gone <laughs> क्या बोलेंगे अभी यू कॉन्ट से एनी थिंग टू देम नो सो दिस इज द सिचुएशन ऑफ अवर धृत राष्ट्र सो ही सेज दैट इट वॉज देर फॉर नेचुरल दैट वॉट संजय वॉज सेंग सीम्ड इम प्रॉपर टू धृत राष्ट्र वॉट वॉज इम प्रॉपर द एक्सटैटिक चैटर दैट ही एक्सप्रेस थ्रू हिज वर्ड्स दैट आई एम आई एम रिमेम्बरिंग द कृष्णा एंड अर्जुना He says, uh, Krishna Arjuna, with their talking, how does it matter? What's happening in the world? <laughs> I want to know that. <laughs> Then the king said, "Tell me what is going on. Who will be victorious in this war?" Now remember, the verse does not say this. That King Dhritarashtra is asking this question. This is Nyaneshwar Maharaj in his. imaginative display he is building into the words that this is making it palatable to the people who are sitting in front of him and who are the people sitting in front of him there are pandits there are saints and sages there are uh, 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 brahmins there are warriors there are uh, business people there are they are the uh, the, the the common man uh, the worker in the society he did not discriminate that only this one can listen or the, no everyone was there to listen so the those who are intellectual pandits they want to know the sanskrit and this and that but those who are common they want to know hey actually what happened so he is making it palatable for them so here he says nyaneshwar maharaj is saying this in the verse uh, it is not told hmm? so he says that then the king said tell me what is going on who will be victorious in this war his attention is only on the victory and defeat and uh, in the war i guess that the valor of duryodhana is more than that of the others and his army also is one and a half times greater as compared with the army of pandavas see where the arrogance is coming from first the arrogance was the the commander in chief has the will to die when he wants so that was the arrogance that was the feeling of uh, 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 what do you call in that we are inconquerable now that he is lying on the ground now he is saying oh my son he is one of the greatest warriors he will be there and why because he has a army with him which is one and a half times greater than the pandavas pandavas army was say uh, seven battalions they had 11 battalions kauravas the baddies had 11 in our mind 
the negative thoughts are always more than the good thoughts always it's not the war of pandavas and kauravas is not on the land it may be but this war is going on in our head all the time between the good thoughts and the bad thoughts between the extroverted thoughts and the introverted thoughts here thank me that i grasp your mind and keep it together the moment you go out of here or the satsang is over immediately the thoughts of the world come and flood our mind isn't it thoughts of the world kauravas thoughts of the lord or self perfection pandavas and without doing anything thoughts of the world come <laughs> you have to cultivate thoughts of perfection you have to cultivate chanting the om you have to cultivate contemplation on the divine it doesn't happen naturally because we have programmed ourselves to think about the world not only in this life from many lives see so this is the continuous war between the good and the bad this you see in the outside society also this you see within your mind also this you you see uh, this is this is the which one is was uh, 14th 13th 14th chapter no 4th, 13th chapter kshetra deva asura yoga that was the 13th 14th chapter i think so that when arjuna asked why am i not i understand that the consciousness is this is is behind this body breath mind and intellect equipment i understand this is the field i am the knower of the field i understand this i am also understanding that this knower of the field is the is one without a second is the same who is expressing in everyone but why am i not able to stay there <laughs> as the knower why am i not able to stay uh, constantly by being that knower of all the fields then the 14th chapter began bhagwan told that there are daivi sampatti and asurik sampatti daivi sampatti is good thoughts asurik sampatti is bad thoughts similarly pandavas are good thoughts the good people in this war and the pagaravas are the baddies they are the bad people in this war same is here and it's a choice we have to choose we have to cultivate the divine thoughts how long till they become natural to our for our mind to think your mind goes into the train tracks of whatever you have programmed it with whatever she she is programmed he is my husband she can never say that anyone else is her husband it is not possible she is programmed this is my child she is programmed this is my uh, this is my this is my profession each one of us is like that we have programmed ourselves and automatically our mind goes in that track whether we like it or not automatically it will go the moment hunger comes automatically our mind goes in the track food 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 and that too there will be a particular type of the coffee comes it has to be the way you like it it cannot be too strong or uh, some people drink it strong some people drink it black some people drink it very light whichever way is your style it will go into that track only to over and whatever tracks you have created in your mind you cannot undo them remember whatever tracks or impressions you have created in your mind on those tracks when your mind goes you cannot undo them then what can you do if you can't undo them you can create a new track which is deeper faster more encompassing and that is only possible when we consciously with devotion with feeling uh with uh, genuineness 
and intensity and single pointed focus we develop the new track of recognizing that we are essentially divine then mind will again and again go into that track <laughs> instead of going then if the food thought comes theek hai who am i <laughs> if the sleep comes it's okay if when the sleep comes it comes till till the sleep comes i'll keep contemplating on who am i i'll keep let me do an experiment i will remain a witness to the sleep happening experiment you will find new new ways of being aware being awake be remaining as consciousness you will find from within these uh, these uh, urges will come right now the urges are for the world then the urges of how to find new new ways of remaining as consciousness in consciousness <laughs> those uh, 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 opportunities you will search see right in fact the mind searches not you the mind is searching but you have to do, cultivate that it will not happen by itself so here he is saying that yeah uh, he is thinking that he is now falling now the grandfather has passed uh, is lying on the bed of arrows now he is showing his uh, faith in his son who is a great warrior but also in the army that is behind the his son and that army is 11 battalions in those times it was in millions and so i feel that his victory is certain who says that victory is i feel the victory is certain he who has a doubt is trying to convince himself that i think i feel that his victory is certain because he is a great warrior and he has got a huge army behind him david and goliath big remember in the bible it is that story is there is in bible isn't it mm, or outside. some outside yeah goliath was that huge form and david with one who jo hota hai na lasso you call it or what you know that leather thing in which you put a stone sling sling with that sling zoom 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 crack and he falls down <laughs> and every time he tried to catch him he ran through his legs because he's so huge it take took him so long to even move one step but david was small but with one shot he brought that giant down so what is more powerful huge army which is distracted which is which has come together only because of fear of duryodhana which has been got from krishna krishna said you take my army or you take me so all those warriors who have come to arjuna duryodhana to fight their heart is with krishna <laughs> they will kill they will fight because the, the, that is their job but their heart is for krishna <laughs> under satya ki see so this blind king suddenly first time starts having a doubt and nobody is there to listen only sanjay and to that sanjay he is through the words of nyaneshwar maharaj he is expressing his doubt and trying to feel confident that his son is powerful and his army is powerful because half the army is narayani sena krishna's army and therefore i feel we will win i'm going to be successful i'm going to be successful if you speak loudly uh, it shows <laughs> that you are not sure that you will be successful <laughs> see some people try to convince people by raising their voice when they raise their voice they feel that uh, uh, they feel confident or they but other people know he is raising the voice because he is not sure himself <laughs> because if one is sure silence is also enough you don't need to raise your voice 
you need, don't need to express many parents many parents punish the children <laughs> back in india but many parents they give only silent treatment and the children used to behave themselves we had other time mukka <laughs> lat <laughs> <laughs> Not mulaka, mukka lata. <laughs> no silent treatment. <laughs> It was always action. <laughs> Now we come to the final concluding verse of the Bhagavad Gita. And here it says, योगेश्वर कृष्ण योगेश्वर कृष्ण यो धनुर्धर यो धनुर्धर त्र श्रीर्विजय भूति विजय भूति ध्रुवा नीतिर्मतिर्मा ध्रुवा नीतिर्मतिर्मा टुगेदर योगेश्वर कृष्ण यो धनुर्धर यीर्विजय भुक्ति ध्रुवा नीतिर्मतिर्मा आई डू नॉट नो वॉट युअर प्रोडिक्शन इज बट डू टेल मी वॉट एवर इट मे बी सो द धृतराष्ट्र सेड that i feel that we will be victorious that our victory is certain but i do not he is telling sanjay i don't know what you think of what is going on there but whatever your feelings are or whatever your conclusion is please con please communicate it to me and what is his conclusion यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्ण कृष्ण वेर एवर यत्र वेर एवर देर इज कृष्ण यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर देर पार्थ इज ऑल्सो देर और इन अदर वर्ड्स वेर एवर देर इज कृष्ण द लॉर्ड ऑफ योगा दैट इज हीज एडिंग एंड वेर एवर देर इज पार्थ पार्थ इज द वर्ड इट्स एल पार्थ कम्स फ्रॉम पृथा पृथा इज इज प्रथा इज एनदर नेम ऑफ कुंती एंड प्रथा और पार्थ द ओरिजिनल रूट वर्ड इज पृथ्वी अर्थ सो ही इज ग्राउंडेड हाउ ही इज मै सन ऑफ द सॉइल भगवान ही इज एन इनकारनेशन ही इज नॉट ओनली ऑन द सॉइल बट इज ऑल्सो एवरीवेर बट ही इज सन ऑफ द सॉइल grounded so he is the individual and krishna is the divine or the total or the universal uttama purusha the archer there is assured fortune as also victory prosperity and statesmanship such is my considered view he is not a charioteer should not be afraid to tell the truth in front of his master so when so why is he saying this statement suddenly in the verse sanjay is saying this statement nyaneshwar maharaj is has given it its own flair that maybe dhritarashtra asked that what we just said and he asked what is your opinion uh, uh, take on the battlefield so he must have answered yatra yogeshwara krishna is the tatra यत्र पार्थो धनुधर त्र श्रीर विजय वेर एवर देर इज द योगेश्वर कृष्ण एंड वेर एवर देर इज पार्थ अर्जुन देर अलोन द वेल्थ इज देर देर अलोन द विक्ट्री इज देर मीनिंग वॉट नाउ अप्लाइड सब्जेक्टिवली डोंट फॉरगेट हा कृष्ण वेर एवर देर इज कृष्ण ओ लेट्स गो टू द टेम्पल कृष्ण टेम्पल that also is okay i am not saying no but it must translate within our heart that the divinity from outside initially it is important 
because we don't know any other way. But after having studied Bhagavad Gita, that Krishna, that divinity, it is inherent. It is my essence. Just like water, which is infinite, that infinite water is Paramatma. It is the essence of the wave. Can you come, can we come to that realization that Krishna is not only outside everywhere, no, it is in the temple also, no doubt. That's why when we go to the temple, instead of looking at the statue of the Lord, we close our eyes. Are you were dressed, trek, took bath, went all the way, so many kilometers away to the temple, uh, and they, you go there, and after going there, you close your eyes. Are you stupid or what? Because everyone knowingly or unknowingly knows that the divinity lies within. They just don't know how to access it. But somewhere, somehow, they know it is, the, 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 that the way to it is within. It's not outside. Therefore, we all eyes, close our eyes. But we become afraid of the darkness in, once we close our eyes. Okay, <laughs> I want to see how beautiful he looks and this and that and everything. Because our attention is only on the paraphernalia. Go deeper. Go, go deeper. Go to the existence. Go to the consciousness that is pervading that form. That's the meditation given in Bhagav Srimad Bhagavad. There they say, might as well. So there they say, uh, this is come, comes in the Uddhav Gita. Bhagwan is giving instructions to Uddhav that he should give this information to uh, Vidurji. Vidurji was the one of the uh, uh, ministers in for this blind king. He is a wise man. But the blind king, as he is not listening to Sanjay, he did not listen to his wise minister also. Then he left. He said, I don't want to be involved in your kingdom. I'll sit quietly and take the name of the Lord. Which Lord? Krishna, 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 Krishna. Huh? So what is the meditation? He says, because Krishna is about to leave his body, he has been hit by an arrow. Uddhav comes there and he says, how do I, if you go away, I will be without you. I can't imagine my life without you. This, that, everything. He says, come here. Sit down. <laughs> and he makes him go through the... the in fact, uh, uh, the meditation is by Uddhav to... Uh, what was the name? Vidurji. He is telling him. And what is that? Imagine the Lord Krishna's form. is. Look at his toes. Look at his toes. Check his... Just like I'm wearing this lungi, he's wearing a dhoti. Look at the pitambar, the yellow colored dhoti. Look. See, he's wearing a kamarband. Look good. Oh, see his body. It's blue, blue hue in color. Look. He's watching. He says, now look at his long arms. Look. Shapely fingers. Look. There is a th the janeo thread, sacred thread. Look. Look at the mala, the, the kaustubha mani, the the representation of the sun. He says, there is a garland of flowers. So, look at the beautiful neck in the shape of a conch. Look. Look at his double chin. Look. Look. High cheekbones. Look. Solid jaw. Look. Long ears. Look. Uh, crocodile earrings hanging. Very nice. Smile on his lips. Fantastic. Uh, Lotus shaped eyes look huge uh, uh, forehead look curly hair look and the crown with the uh, peacock feather look ah, 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 ah. and he has got four arms in in the in in the left top one he's holding the uh, sh uh, sh uh, the conch in the right uh, top hand he's holding the the chakra sudarshan chakra the the time the wheel of time. In the right hand down, he is holding the mace. And in the left hand down, he is holding the lotus flower. Ah, no, 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 don't stop. 
don't stop there because your mind will go keep going should i look at uh, face or should i look at feet or should i look at uh, the conch or should i look at the mace or should i look at the to the sacred thread or should i look at the garland so much variety in that body isn't it in that form but as your love for that form with all the variety if you are doing it genuinely right now also with your eyes open if that love is there that devotion is there that surrender is there and vidur had that love and devotion and surrender towards krishna because krishna had shown him his virat roop when he had uh, 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 once before so he is looking at it and naturally a person who is in love wants to merge into what he loves right if i love golgappa i want to merge into golgappa or golgappa should merge into me so here it is the lord form and i want to merge next step next step is in as so as the mind is becoming focused as the mind is trying to keep the whole form in as one vision but there is too much variety in that form you are not able to hold on to it then the instruction comes shift your attention to the two eyes or to the two lips or to the two feet two eyes two lips or two feet between the two eyes there is a third eye you can't see it but you keep focusing on the two eyes you will merge into the third eye you whenever someone smiles you don't smile when you smile slight gap is there between the lips isn't it so when you look at the lips so from manyness in the form you have come to two from manyness in the form you have come to two lips or the third option from manyness in the form you have come to two feet in our culture feet are considered holy because that is the foundation on which the whole di- because the divine form is standing on his feet so what are his qualities the feet is carrying that or uh, that person so we pray to that feet so when you come to the feet there is if you put your feet together also you will see there is a gap in between when you between the two lips there is a gap between the two eyes there is a third eye which you can't see but it's there so as our attention from the total form of all the varieties shankar chakra gada padma the garland the necklace the kamarband the color of lungi the curly hair the crown the peacock feather the arm bands and the cro- crocodile earrings etc etc from all this variety it comes and gets fixated why it gets fixated because you want to be one with krishna you know that in this form there is consciousness in the form of krishna there is consciousness without consciousness that form of krishna cannot express you want to merge into that consciousness so you come to these two points two and as you focus on the two eyes you will be sucked into the third eye as you li- focus on the two lips you will be as the breath goes in of the lord you will be sucked into the two lips or you f- contemplate on the two feet your mind will merge between the two feet and thereafter you have gone beyond form you've gone beyond form that is this yatra yogeshwara krishna this arjuna has realized that's why he said all my doubts are removed and that's why sanjay is saying wherever such a lord is there and wherever such a student such as arjun is there he is not talking about the battlefield there he is talking about the battlefield of our mind and if you are ready to be a seeker you are ready to be a student and you are ready to be available to the divinity within you see 
if you are ready to be available to the divinity within you then victory is a foregone conclusion victory is a foregone conclusion you don't have to become victorious what did krishna tell arjuna the war is already won you are only going to get the accolades whether you fight or you don't fight war will be won by pandavas see so when i when i am saying that if we are ready to be a student for that we have to drop our ego <laughs> for that we have to drop our ego our arrogance our hypocrisy and the answer answer doesn't necessarily needs to be coming from outside answer comes from inside also 14 years of my life before going to ashram i did not have a teacher all prompts of what sadhana to be is to be done came from within all i was doing was chanting om but i will make it to day in and day in and day out i was obsessed with it initially you need to be obsessed to become single pointed then as that single pointed focus happens the mind that calm mind a new variety the new quality of thought start uh, coming and those thoughts are contemplative by nature those thoughts are expansive by nature those thoughts are prompting you to merge <laughs> without effort <laughs> there are such type of thoughts okay. you don't need we don't need to study scriptures but each person's journey is different if you if we don't have the vocabulary to what we are going through then we come to the scriptures because what happened then the sadhana i don't know what was going on how can you express explain horripilations how can you explain uh, ecstasy how can you explain a silent mind <laughs> you cannot i have not read patanjali yoga sutra where it says the chitta vritti nirodha hai yoga i thought i was going you can one can think they are going mad but then when you come to the scriptures by the grace you start having a vocabulary to express that you have gone through or experienced or abided in scriptures are that language scriptures are that language and we must take only their support we must try, try to imagine our own vocabulary so here he says uh, where are we now we are still in the verse only we are not started explaining it सो तत्र श्रीर विजयो भूति ही ध्रुवा नीतिर मतिर ममा सो ही सेज दैट दैट वेर एवर देर इज कृष्णा द लॉर्ड ऑफ योगा एंड वेर एवर देर इज पार्थ द आर्चर आर्चर वाई द आर्चर बिकॉज अर्जुन वॉज वेरी क्लियर वॉट हिज एम इज हिज टार्गेट इन लाइफ इज वॉट एवर ही फोकस इज ऑन ही अचीव arjun is one excuse me he has never lost a war in his life even as a student when everyone was asked what do you see hanging on the tree someone said i can see many leaves someone said i can see branches all these 100 and plus 500 and five brothers someone said i can see the tail someone said i can see the bird someone said i can see the face someone said i can see the beak everyone said something when it came to arjun arjun said i can see the bird and in the bird my focus is on the right eye and then the teacher asks what else he says my the point of my arrow is 
एब्सोल्युटली इन अलाइंड विद द आई ऑफ द बर्ड दैट क्लैरिटी दैट एक्सट्रीम फोकस एज इफ यू आर इन इन अ जोन वेन यू आर इन द जोन एवरीथिंग बिकम्स क्रिस्टल क्लियर वेर यू आर देर इज नो फॉगी माइंड देर there is no excitement there is no depression there is no expectation to hit or not to hit only clarity no doubt no doubt so it's a very this is possible only when a seeker or in your daily life you are able to push away everything and are focused on what is required at this moment so what is required at this moment a uh, a truthful explanation of these verses if i am not available to these verses if i keep imagining i have to say this i have to say this i keep planning 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 i will not be able to deliver similarly you will not be able to listen if you are you are preoccupied with other things in your life while while sitting here so if you are completely empty you are focused like arjuna if i am totally empty then i am focused on what is to be delivered in fact it's not what is to be delivered it is being delivered that arjuna didn't know we also don't know didn't know when we come to bhagavad gita and by conclusion we realize everything is already pre planned hai ke nahi unnecessary i am pointing the arrow on the eye <laughs> all that is speakingly to communicate you can speak that way but in your heart you should now arjuna knows yes i am going to shoot the arrow i am going to use this arrow or i am going to do that arrow but in his heart he knows that this thought that i have to take this arrow for this particular person or for this particular purpose it's all initiated by the divinity itself because that is the requirement at that moment See, this, 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 this happens only, or this will come about only when we are completely at one meant with the divinity, not outside within ourselves. Begin with chanting the name of the Lord. Begin with chanting Om. It will bring you there. It will bring you to the doorsteps. After that. study bhagavad gita again and you will find with that focused mind the whole the the the, 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 the bhagavad gita will keep revealing you think that you have understood everything it will reveal you so much more see when i took the first time bhagavad gita it was a different if the basis was same but the explanation the the, the 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 words that are coming out now i don't know how many times i have taken but this time it is totally different because i never taken nyaneshwari first time i am taking nyaneshwari so there is for such a shreer vijaya so there is it's a foregone conclusion that such a person will be wealthy why he'll be wealthy because no desires to be fulfilled so all wealth is his <laughs> he's not lacking in anything therefore shri we are not talking shri only as the money wealth or the property wealth or the stock market wealth wealth is not only that wealth but also all the siddhis the powers that become invoked within the longer we keep our mind empty consciously not by going to sleep if you keep your mind consciously empty all these powers they start getting invoked you cannot do anything about it they will come huh? say so shri so wealth wealth is physical as well as subtle and the ultimate wealth is union with the divine that is the ultimate and if you are one with the divine then in hindu culture he is called krishna krishna's wife is the goddess of wealth she automatically comes 
without any effort <laughs> so here he says the wealth comes and the what is the other thing and also the victory prosperity and statesmanship what to speak where to speak how to speak what words to utilize in what emotion what manner with what intensity everything is automatic you don't have to work it out otherwise we go on hey don't do that after the class hey nagraj i'm sorry ha huh? i should not have said it like that in the middle of the class a person who is completely he wherever he is however he is whatever is the requirement it will come out he is does not regret what he has said and there is no expectation preemptive position that i am going to say like this he is ever in the present moment here and now and in the here and now na sochati na kamshati he doesn't uh, yeah, uh, he doesn't think of the past meaning regrets of the past or guilts of the past neither kamshati neither any expectations of the results or or whatever is to be done of the future he is in the utter present arjuna he began as a depressed person he began as a person in crisis and where has he come to complete clarity and that clarity could be heard in his words that all my doubts at this moment have been eradicated and i have realized that you are all that there is and let thy will prevail let thy will prevail that means whatever you say is going to happen i am ready to carry out your command this is also what he said that means i have got no individuality left in me who can say this whose ego has surrendered if he said that uh, what uh, uh, in the uh, what was that verse uh, कार्पण्य दोषो पहत स्वभाव पृछा तम धर्म सम्मूढ़ चेता निश्रय सैत निश्चित ब्रूहित मे शिष्य स्तेहम शाधी मम तम प्रपन्नम ही सेड इन द सेकेंड चैप्टर वेन ही वॉज हैविंग क्राइसिस दैट आई एम योर डिसाइपल एंड आई एम सरेंडर्ड एट योर फीट बट ही डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड ही हैज बीन अ डिसाइपल ऑफ हिज गुरु ही हैज बीन अ डिसाइपल इन द आर्चरी एंड ऑल द all the weapon weaponry and missiles and everything but what is what is to that quality is there in him he knows how to listen to a teacher but here he required to up his and <laughs> up his uh, level of uh, 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 disciplehood and what is that disciplehood he he should be ready to change very quickly he he should be ready to be molded by the teacher without becoming a impediment if teacher says something no but no no argument if there is argument the teacher is gone somewhere else so arjuna if you see throughout the bhagavad gita no time in the entire bhagavad gita did he go back on a question which he has already asked unlike us <laughs> he did not go back means with every new statement or question to arjuna or to krishna he has imbibed the teachings of krishna and he has transformed himself the teaching he has allowed those words of krishna to transform him and slowly slowly from from karma yog to san, karma sanyasi yog from karma sanyasi yog to bhakt dhyan yog meditation yoga of meditation from yoga of meditation to devotion at, at, at having the vision of the ultimate in division which is the universal vision of the uh, of the lord having that then trying to imbibe that universal vision that that lord is within my heart and he is expressing in me then why am i missing him then becoming a seeker of the self within himself and 
fine tuning refining 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 he suddenly he completely loses his identity as arjuna in front of lord krishna this is possible only through satsang all he did was heard krishna and then he when krishna just jokingly asked him has it gone into you or there is still any doubt left he says no all doubt doubt so i am ready to do your uh, beckoning command and i shall perform smriti was on the stomach correct see so sanjay in his last verse if dhritarashtra has asked that question what is your opinion he says wherever there is krishna and wherever there is arjuna there alone wealth is there there alone success and victory is there and then and prosper and also prosperity and statesmanship yeah श्रीर विजय भूति ध्रुवा नीतिर मतिर ममा देर अलोन ट्रुथ इज देर अलोन राइचियसनेस इज वॉट इज वॉट इज द फर्स्ट वर्ड इन द भगवदगीता धर्म क्षेत्रे धर्म राइचियसनेस वॉट इज द लास्ट वर्ड इन द भगवदगीता नॉट नीतिर ममा नीति इज एनदर वर्ड ममा इज एनदर ममा so what are the 700 verses within this dharma at the beginning and mama mama means mine my dharma means righteousness dharma means duty so what are the two uh, poles my duty my righteousness what is that my my duty or my righteousness the entire bhagavad gita is the explanation answer is simple my dharma is, true dharma is the self story over but that much is not enough when krishna told arjuna in the 12th second chapter he did not understand then he had to come down and to his level and explain the whole thing in detail यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्णो यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर त्र श्रीर्विजय भूति ध्रुवा नीतिर्मतिर्म ओं रिपीट आफ्टर मी ओं तत्सदी श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता उपनिषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यायाम योगशास्त्रे श्रीकृष्णा अर्जुन संवादे मोक्ष संन्यास योगो नामा अष्टादशोध्याय टुगेदर ओं तत्सदी श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता उपनिषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यायाम योगशास्त्रे श्रीकृष्णा अर्जुन संवादे मोक्ष संन्यास योगो नाम अष्टादशोध्याय look at the mean meaning of the gnaneshwar maharaj's commentary on this last verse and this concluding refrain uh, om tat saditi in our next class om purnamada purnamedam purnat purnam udachate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ